In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best offense that I've faced in the Madden Classic. I'm going to show you why it's so good, and I'm going to show you some of the counters as we get in the lab on how to stop this incredible, incredible offense out of the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton, and it gives you access to all of the latest tips and strategies. I spent a lot of time studying Madden, playing Madden, um, practicing myself, and also watching um, professional players play and learning from what they're doing. And I try to synthesize all that information right here on the YouTube channel and give you some tangible tools that you can use. So if you want to subscribe, it's completely free. And also, if you want to join my text message membership where we release a free scheme every single week, um, go ahead and text me. My number is in the top uh, right hand or top left hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this offense right here. This is Trio Offset, and what you're going to notice is if you look at the bottom left screen there, uh, it says Packages. Right below the goal line, it says Packages. And if I flick the right joystick to the left twice, you see that it can create this four wide receiver package. This was kind of one of the coolest things that I saw um, in the entire tournament. Um, I, I ran up against a guy, and I couldn't stop this offense. This offense was insanely effective. And essentially the reason what makes it so effective is because within their depth chart, they can put Devontae Adams at tight end where he cannot be jammed and he can really not be almost, he's almost unguardable uh, in man coverage because of his route technician ability. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. Four wide receivers. As you can see, we get all of our best receivers in the game. Um, and then what we'll be able to basically do is we're going to lab some of these. Um, they also have some really, really good running plays in the buck sweep, the power O, the, the, uh, the RPO bubble. They have some really, really good running plays. But there's two primary passing plays from this, and I believe that this is probably the kryptonite of this offense, is that there's not a ton of passing concepts. But the beauty of the way people were running this scheme is not only were they able to use plays like Flood, and they were able to use plays like PA Post Shot and Level Sale. Level Sale was probably the number one play that was the hardest to stop. You'll notice that there's no crossing route from this offense. Now, um, when I first ran against that, I didn't know that. And because I didn't know that, I was always worried about a crossing route coming from the slot because I thought it was going to be similar to trips I didn't. I mean, I guess there is a crossing route from the play PA post shot. But they don't really uh, they don't really go to that too much. So anyway, we're going to dive into this. Uh, I got the 335 defense up, and I want to show you the first strategy that I would have in stopping this. I want to show you why it's sometimes hard to use. Um, and that would be my cover four match defense. So essentially all we're going to do is we're going to have uh, a three rec right here to my uh, receiver. Or what I would probably do is just man him up on the slot. Um, and then I would have a three rec to the tight end. And what you'll notice is what people will do with Devontae Adams, which I think is brilliant. Um, because he is outside apprentice, they'll motion him out here to the right, and then they can put him on a post route and smart route it, and then they can motion him back to the left. This was a very popular concept for people throughout the course of this game. And then they might do something like, you know, um, something simple like wheel route the running back, you know, maybe do something like this. This was a very popular concept that I faced a lot. So what you'll see here is this post route to Devontae Adams, if they have time in the pocket, that route tech ability, now the cover four match, it doesn't give it up, but against a lot of defenses it does, especially if you're going to try to run man-to-man, -man, which I made the mistake of trying to run man-to-man -man against this scheme. And I'm telling you right now, it's really, really hard to um, to be able to stop this offense running running man-to-man -man coverage. So if you take a look here, again, we'll set that up right there, set that up right there. But now if you take a look at the uh, level sale, now I want you to watch Devontae Adams on the right side. And what you'll see here is his corner route. Because of his route tech ability and because he's such a good user catch, he could sometimes get over that outside quarter. Now he didn't right there because that's Jair Alexander, but he could um, in the event, you know, in the event of what they were doing. And so if you were running man coverage, and I want to show you just why this is so good because I, I haven't been running man coverage yet. I just want to show you the offense real quick. But essentially what you could do is in it, it, really you could put him on anything. But this corner route was impossible to stop. Look how many look how much separation he has. I mean it's so hard to stop that corner route. I cannot even tell you how hard it is to stop that corner route. And then there's other things that they could do as well. Let me show you another thing that they would do. Another thing they would do is they could bring him out and they could put him on a corner route, which is like a C route. 
and then smart route. Essentially, they have a C route now to their, their, their guy. And then now what they could do is have essentially a flood concept um, where they could, you know, basically have like a curl, a flat, maybe something, maybe something simple like this, you know, and then they would have their, their streak. And if you watch how this uh, cover four quarters will defend it, you're going to see that that C route uh, actually gets pretty good separation against a cover four quarters style of defense because they matched them up one on one. Any time they got Devontae Adams one on one, he would pretty much bust the coverage. And then another play that I want to share with you is PA post shot. Now this was probably the most um, the most common setup, the setup that you were kind of expecting people to use, and that is essentially uh, I'll audible to it here real quick. PA post shots, you have the crosser. So what they would do is oftentimes, um, let me back up here, PA post shot. Uh, oftentimes what they would do is they would have that slant come into Valdez Scantling. They'd have that smart routed post route over the top there. And then Davante would be on something like this. And then you would have, you know, kind of a, a little flat pattern to the running back, whatever it might be. And then they would motion Valdez Scantling across. Now the way that I would normally defend this, let's say I was playing just traditional trips tight end, the normal way I would defend this would be this. Because I was so worried about Devontae Adams on the post route, though, um, I just didn't really you know, think about it. But again, if you look at this defense, it pretty much takes all that away. So the cover four match defense probably would have been a much better play call uh, before this guy. The other thing that I want to cover really quickly before we take off, though, is these running plays. Uh, these running plays are really, really glitchy as well. And I just want to share a couple of these, uh, a couple of these setups with you. So this was another run. This was the RPO bubble. And you see here, I mean, it's, it's just an inside zone, but it's hard to stop, again, if you're running this at a very fast pace. And then the other run that I thought was really, really effective was the buck sweep um, and the power O. And the reason why is they kind of play um, a little similar to a, an RPO trap, right? I would normally, and you see here, we're able to get the buck sweep, but the power O would really pin you down a little bit. So if you're interested in trying this offense out, this was the hardest offense I faced the entire day. Um, better than bunch, better than anything. And this level set, another setup out of the level sale play was something like this right here. And this curl route killed me. I mean, this curl route killed, killed, killed me. So again, snap of the ball. And I would basically be using the always on Devontae Adams because I was so worried about him. But as you can see right here, I could have I could have essentially um, cover four quartered him, and it would have been fairly okay for the most part. Um, another thing that they could do, and again, there's just so many options for them when they're running this. But another thing that they can do because they can use this motion out tr uh, tactic, you could put Devontae Adams on a slant route, motion him back in. And then, you know, essentially you could do that from the play PA post shot. So I w I, this was another setup that was ran on me a ton, a ton, a ton. So something like this right here. And then essentially what you would do is you would motion your streak over and your streak would, would basically serve as a clear out route um, for the, the crosser. So I would normally would man that cross, the cross man that. And now I've got Devontae Adams on a slant route. And as you can see here, the match coverage does a good job in that example. But... Depending on where the motion snaps and everything, it can be very difficult. So, anyways, the way that I my takeaway from this was I and I think I didn't run. I think I ran a lot of man and I ran a lot of Mabel coverage. I did not run enough of my cover four match defense that I had practiced. Um, I honestly think I was a little bit of a little bit afraid of Devonte Adams um, on these. You know, something as simple as like uh, I'll give you another example of a route combination that they used on me. This was a very good one right here. Um, essentially, they put him on that skinny post, they smart routed him, brought him back inside here, and then they would get you essentially hung down on these these crossers. Um, and as you can see here, you know, the cover four match would have taken that away. So, um, you know, all that to say, that's the cover four match defense. A little bit more about it, a little bit more about how to use it against what I believe to be one of the hardest offenses that I faced the entire game. Um, this offense was super, super glitchy and super effective. So shout out to the guys on PlayStation that put this together against me. Um, they did end up giving me my one loss on PlayStation uh, with that offense. And we, it was a scoring fest, and I ended up losing the ball on a strip fumble and ended up losing the game. Obviously threw a couple of bad interceptions as well. Uh, didn't execute great on the offensive side of the ball, but 
Uh, defensively, if I could have been a little bit better against this formation, would have been a lot easier of a game for me. So that's a little bit about how to stop this. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook, that link is in the description. And if you want to get a free sample of it, just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Just a quick reminder, if you want to get the full ebook, it is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, guys.